Community and finding a sense of belonging can be a challenge for people who identify as LGBTQ. While gay bars and clubs are usually the first gathering place that come to mind to find that community, there are other places that offer fellowship and camaraderie in parts of Central Florida. As the sun set over Barnett Park on this Tuesday evening, the colors of the rainbow were on full display with the jerseys worn here on the soccer field. The green team played the purple and the red team took on the blue team. In this final week of the Out Sports League's soccer season. Out is a recreational LGBTQ plus sports league. We're open to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a senior, if you're younger, uh, your ethnicity, your creed. We'll take everybody. We're happy to have everyone here. That sense of inclusion and belonging is exactly why John Teixeira started the league. You know, when Paul said happened here, I was living in New York City. I decided I wanted to move back to Orlando. And I'm a native Floridian. Orlando is very important to me. And there wasn't a lot of community when I got here. And I was very passionate about uh, queer sports when I lived in New York City. And Quite frankly, I just wanted to start a, a sports league to kind of recreate that community for Orlando. Hello? Between email, working from home, social media, dating apps, and text message conversations, so much of modern life exists behind a screen. But Teixeira wants to help get people connected face to face. Talk to me about the power of meeting in person, especially now that all this news is coming out about loneliness and how detrimental it is to our health. I mean, especially in the post-COVID world, um, being in person, I think, matters more than anything. So having an avenue like this gives people an opportunity just to be themselves, and people can like them for themselves instead of putting up a, a false pretense on their, their profile or whatnot. And I feel like people give people more of a chance when they meet them in person. The league started bringing people together with kickball games and has grown to include cornhole, dodgeball, volleyball, and soccer. If I didn't have out sports, I would probably be at home on my couch watching Netflix. So this is a great way to keep me active. Nick Mello has been an active member since the beginning. Back in the day when I first moved here six years ago, I wanted a community of just to find my tribe. So I found um, a gay kickball league at the time. It was uh, of a different name. Um, but I joined it and since then have made a ton of different friends and now it's out sports uh, which has been great to be a part of and making new friends each each sport I play. What is different about being part of this league versus like when you played in other leagues? I guess the what we have in similar like we all know that we're all queer so it's just nice we don't have to worry about trying to relate to everybody. We already have that in common. And what would you say to uh, you know any naysayers or critics who say, well, why is there a need for this? Or why can't uh, you guys just participate in like the young adult sports leagues? Especially for queer people, there tends to be a stigma around playing in sports sometimes. A lot of people have an experience where they were growing up and they either felt bullied or being in a weird situation in their high school locker room, or maybe they just didn't even feel like they'd be accepted. We have lots of issues right now with you know trans people participating in sports. Uh, this league provides an opportunity for those players to feel comfortable and safe and feel welcome in a community that will welcome them back. A sense of community that extends about an hour away in Brevard County every Friday night when Hello Again Books in Coco Village buzzes with activity. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Games help you feel relaxed, Games help you feel comfortable, help you be able to maybe talk more casually than you would if it was just like small talks. Owners Mary Beth Burgess and Amy Elkovich wanted to provide a place for LGBTQ people and their allies to come together. Every Friday night, they keep the bookstore open a little bit later than usual for this game night. We had moved from Atlanta um, to take care of Amy's mom who had dementia, and it was very hard for us to find like-minded people um, and to find friends because um, we don't drink, you know, we weren't going out to bars. Um, so when we opened the bookstore, we realized that there was a need for LGBTQ um, or just nerds or, you know, whoever to come out and play and, and have a safe space because they're really, you know, if you don't go to bars, there's not a lot out there for you. So we just wanted to create a place for people to come and just hang out. Walking through that door and getting into this space where you know that you're comfortable, but you know that you're loved and accepted without even being known, there is nothing like that. Siobhan Darling is a regular attendee. I was born here and raised uh, Merritt Island, so local, local. And um, I came out as queer when I was 12. 
and um, it only took a couple years before I no longer had a home as a result of it. And so having a queer safe space just didn't exist. And it wasn't something I thought would ever exist. <laughs> Being able to have this space and bring my kids to this space and have a chosen family that is safe and inclusive and supportive has been, I mean, it's everything I would have dreamed of as a kid. All right, cool, cool. Okay. Mary Beth and Amy also strive to create a welcoming environment for allies. For allies, it's really good for them to come and see one to feel more comfortable sitting next to a trans person and realize that that person is just a normal person. They're no different than anybody else. Um, we have a lot of parents who come who have questions or are maybe not comfortable with yet where their child is on the, the progression. Allies give hope for those who are going through something to realize that there are people in Brevard who will accept you. Back in Orange County, the Out Sports League's camaraderie exists off the field as well. There are social outings around town and at roller rinks, as well as fundraising events to help nonprofits like the Zebra Coalition. It's important for us to let people know that we're just like other people. We just want to have a fun time, play sports, and be like everybody else. And this league, I hope, will let people understand that that's all we're here to do.